Today we celebrate the 13th Tuesday in honor of St. Dominic. St. Dominic was a man of great apostolic zeal who spent himself tirelessly preaching the good news for the salvation of sinners. But what gave St. Dominic such zeal and such energy to preach day in and day out? Well, first and foremost, St. Dominic was a man of deep prayer. He was a contemplative who then shared the fruits of his contemplation. But even the saints sometimes struggle with prayer. So what did St. Dominic do? How did he pray and what does he teach us that will help us when we struggle, dry, when we struggle with dryness or, or distractions in our own prayer life? Well, the brethren who lived with St. Dominic asked themselves the same question and they would oftentimes watch him while he prayed. And what they handed down to us is that St. Dominic would be oftentimes found in nine ways or postures of prayer. I won't be going through all nine postures of prayer today, but we have a description for each on our website. Some of my favorite uh, ways of St. Dominic's prayer or postures of prayer include praying with his arms outstretched in the form of a crucifix, praying with his arms stretched up to the heavens, bowing deeply before the Lord, genuflecting, and even lying prostrate before the Lord. Well, why did St. Dominic do this? Well, he knew that being a body and soul, sometimes we need to express with our bodies what's going on deep within us, things that we can't express with simple words. So he wanted to show the Lord. He wanted to show the Lord a deep openness, a receptivity to whatever God wanted to give him, or a surrender. Lord, what do you have for me? What can I give you? I give you my whole life. Raising his arms up, keeping his eyes fixed on the things above, being humble and reverent before the Lord, lying prostrate, giving his whole life, surrendering everything before the Lord. It was in these moments of prayer that St. Dominic was filled up with the love of Christ, giving his whole life to God and then preaching the good news, being filled with the love of God and giving that love of God to all that he preached to. And so I want to invite you and encourage you this week, take a look at the different nine ways of prayer and incorporate one of those ways into your own prayer life this week. Maybe the Lord will bless you with a, a special grace to be open to receive, being completely surrendered to give something new to the Lord. And as you're filled up with the love of God, he'll give you a special grace, hopefully, to then go and preach to those who need it most, to give a word of love, a look of love to somebody who needs it most this week, and be a blessing, just as St. Dominic was, to all those that he met. Let us pray for each other, and St. Dominic, pray for us. God bless you.